I'm here now. Ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. You see my mascot outfit? Oh, my head is killing me. A disgruntled Kronstadt employee has acquired some dirt on Sierra Knox and intends on blackmailing her. Disguised as one of the racing mascots, he plans to meet Sierra by the old motel. Well, I always did feel that pink was your color. Hey, yo, did you find some keys over there? Oh man, you're a real lifesaver, thank you! The race is entering its final lap, 47. Forty-seven. The race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. Nice outfit. Really brings out your eyes. 
Miss Knox informed me you'd be here. She asked to make sure you brought the documents. So, did you bring the documents? I have the papers right here. Excellent. Come on in. Have a seat or something. I'll let Miss Knox know you're here. So far, so good, 47. Now, let's see where this meeting is headed. So, uh, you here for a job application or what? Something like that. Nice. If you don't mind me saying so, your particular choice of attire is maybe a little... I don't know. Huh? For a job interview, I mean. My suit is at the cleaners. And you couldn't find anything else to wear? Correct. You must lead a very interesting life, my friend. You have no idea. Yes, Miss Knox. There's a guy here wearing a mascot outfit claiming you have an appointment with him. I wouldn't give his name. Got it. I'll let him know you're on route. Hey, Flamingo guy. This Knox is on her way. Have a seat somewhere. She'll be here as soon as she can. So, Mr. Hmm. I never did catch your name. Names are for friends. Very well. Straight to the point in all business. Walk with me. Where are we going? Don't worry. What am I gonna do? Kill you, bro. How are you, sir? Hey, bird boy. This way. Don't worry. What am I gonna do? Kill you in broad daylight. I just want a bit of privacy here. Not about to do sensitive business like this in front of an audience. Good idea. So just to get this straight, you claimed in your email to have somehow found internal reports that show Kronstadt's involvement in the Tongan Valley Massacre. Sounds about right. Let's be clear. You and I are having this meeting because my father... Hey, where are you going? Come here. Let's be clear. You and I are having this meeting because my father doesn't need to know about this. It's just another undesired distraction. I don't care if the information is true or false. I don't care if it mentions moving money from the Nexus Project into Tungan Valley Damage Control, as you claimed in your correspondence. I do care about protecting my father, which is why you and I are now here. I see. Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing, Miss Knox. Uh, if, you need... if you could quit breathing directly on me, I'd be grateful. So here's the deal. You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. So here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting. One, you will leave this place and this country. Target down. Next up, Robert Brooks.
Good day to you, sir.
the engine off. Let's just try to get this started again. Someone's been tampering with the car. Heads will roll. I need you to get in the car. Don't touch anything until I tell you. This is very strange. It shouldn't behave like this at all. Try the engine, Smith. All right, try it now. This should work. It. Good. Hit it, Smith. Oh, oh no! What the fuck? Both was targets that? down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon.